Hello farming enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode we left off with our new found plants growing and uh, and we'd already sold some parsnips and we just got another one there. These are worth 35 gold by the way for a regular one. So today we're going to start the day by actually watering all of our plants which will take just a little bit of time. And then we're gonna go find the wizard because there was a wizard, he wants some stuff from us, he wants to talk to us about uh, our rat problem. If you didn't see the last episode, you'll understand uh, nothing. You'll understand nothing. Essentially what happened was we went to the community center and there was a magical disappearing apple, or at least that's what it seemed like. So the wizard has sent us a mail, an email, a direct mail. I don't know why everyone uses postal service here. Uh, but he sent us a little letter saying that we had to go find him and the good thing about finding him is that that kind of adds to our, uh, our quest of meeting everyone and I'm sure it'll be a laugh because wizards are usually pretty awesome. Right, so this is burning for our energy so we're almost there. Oh, these are all parsnips by the way. We've got six parsnips here, 14 around, these are potatoes, and these are beans and they take 10 days to grow. Right, so let's have a little look on the map. Our wizard is located over here, is situated over here. We need to find him. But there was a way to find him. So let's look. Meet the wizard. You received a letter from the local wizard. He claims to have information regarding the old community center. Enter the wizard's tower. So we're just going to walk there now. Right, we do have a path down here at the bottom to um, to get out. We do have, There's this little back door entrance just over here near the water. I'm trying not to burn too much energy. It's why I'm not smashing stuff as they go. Actually, I'm going to have to smash through this rock. Seems like it's all grown back. Alright, let's go this way. Alright, so we need to be heading left whenever we can, so let's go left here. Ah, so there is a secret entrance to the uh, to the wizard's tower. I thought there might be. Oh, hello. You sell a berry pack, lobster, wild radish, tomatoes. Oh my god, you sell a, you sell a lot of stuff. Wow, Jesus. Nice to meet you. But I don't know where your name is. Alright, let's come down. Oh, so this is like a fishing port, so you can go fishing there. That's kind of a convenient location. We learnt how to do fishing in episode 2. I've not attempted it since because I was rubbish at it. Did you guys see that? Did you guys split second see a little dog appear there? Oh my god, it's not just animals we're seeing. Oh, this is the wizard tower. Ooh. He doesn't look like I thought he would. I thought he'd have a big bird. Ah, come in. This one seems more evil than fun. I like daft wizards. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elements, keeper of the sacred... Ch you get the point. Okay. That humor doesn't really like play off very well when you're reading it. And you, Chippy, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Me? Here, I'd like to show you something. It's my big wizardy beard. Behold! Ah, that's the guy we saw. That's our little apple. Oh, dude, are you hurting him? I feel like this wizard's messing him up. You've seen one before, haven't you? I have. But why are you doing that? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Will they speak with me? Whoa. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Okay. Hmm, you found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here, I'm gonna see for myself. I'll return shortly. Peace, dude. So what do we do? Just look around? Oh, I don't think we can. I don't think we're allowed. Ah! I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. That was quick. We, the Jumino, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. One with the forest? What do they mean? Sniff, sniff. 
Aha! Oh my god, I predicted what he said before it came up. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> that went quite well. Sniff, sniff. My cauldron is bubbling with the ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, camel toe toadstool. Can you smell it? <laughs> By the way, it's caramel toe or something like that. Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Oh my god, he's chugging that down, isn't he? Who knew Chippy was such a stud? Oh my god, he's turning green. <laughs> Oh my god, this is some crazy stuff. What is going on? Okay. Floating trees, leaves of green. Floating trees. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on, but it looks awesome. I'm just letting this happen, by the way. Not really pressing out. Oh god, I love the music. It reminds me of Rayman 1 for some reason. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meanings of the Drumino Scrolls. And you've left. Can we talk about that, buddy? I sometimes observe the local villagers in secret. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? I only allow those I trust to enter there. Oh, sorry, buddy. I am hoping to find an apprentice someday. I will leave this mortal place, but my arcane pursuit must continue. Can we not keep talking? Okay. Well, have a good day, buddy. See you later, wizard. All right, okay, he's gone. Let's go back to the... Um... Well, we've got plenty of energy today, and we don't have that much money. So I say what we try and do is we try and do a little bit of fishing, because I absolutely suck at it. And I think I owe it to the game, because the game focuses kind of a lot on it to do it, but then again, it is Lewis's birthday, and uh, we could always give him a nice dandelion, right? So we go and see if Lewis likes dandelions, I think that'd be nice. Let's go give him a dandelion. Alright, I think we can get into the city centre here, yeah, we can get into it this way, so we'll go this way, see if we find anyone new on the way. I don't think I've been in here, it's locked, only Leah's friends can un enter uninvited. Oh. Right, let's go. Wait, can you not can you not go through there? I don't see him right. Do you have to like mine your way through? Oh, Leah. Hey, buddy. Do you know the way out? Have we met before, Leah? He's walking awful fast. If you hear any banging from inside my hut, it's probably just me working on one of my sculptures. <laughs> if you hear any banging, it's probably one of my many prisoners. Oh, what's this? Oh, is this a farm? This is lovely. Howdy! Howdy, nice to meet you. Hey there, it's good to see you. So this is Marnie. I've met Marnie before. What does Marnie sell? He sell chickens and stuff. Purchase animals. Requires construction of a coop. I did think so. I just wanted to see if we could check the prices beforehand, of course. We need, how much is it? We need 2,000 G for, uh, 2,000 G? Yeah, we need 2,000 before we can build a coop. But I'm sure we'll get there. I'm sure we'll get there. Right, okay, have I been in the air? I'm just making sure I've covered all ground. Hi there, mister. Right, okay, so we met one new person, Vincent. Right, and we weren't allowed in here. You're not good enough friends with Sam, so we've not met Sam, have we? I don't think we have. How many people have we met now? Introductions, 26 out of 28, so we've only got two more people to meet. I'm hoping I'll meet him soon. I imagine we've just got to kind of find Sam when he's just walking around and stuff. Too busy playing on that bass guitar. Alright, which way out is it? It's this way. Right, let's go out and go back in again. Let's see if anything changes. Nope, not that kind of game. It's too clever for us. Alright, let's head into town and let's go and see if we can find Mayor Lewis. Once again, I'm going to go in here. Oh, okay. Hi, Chippy. So that's Emily. We met Emily. I'm just seeing if we can find anybody because that would be nice to get the remaining gold. Alright, let's look on our little thing. Raising animals, we haven't built a coop. Explore the mines, reach level 5 of the mines, forging a headcraft furnace. Alright, let's look on crafting just real quick. Furnace, furnace, furnace. Copper, ore, and stone. So we could always go, I'd say one thing that we do maybe tomorrow, because obviously we need the energy. Oh, there's Sam. Oh, it's a nice day, isn't it? Alright, we have met Sam. 
Oh man, I've been pushing off my homework all weekend. Looks like I'm pulling another all nighter. Damn it, Abigail. What's going on, buddy? You take. You're not using your brain. That's what I was meant to say. Okay, town seems a little bit dead today. Oh, Lewis. Lewis, buddy. I've been mayor of Pelican Town for over 20 years. Oh, is this my birthday? Thanks. No one ever runs against me when it's time for election. I like to think it means I'm doing my job well. You already given Lewis a gift today. Did he not like my gift? Help wanted. I could really go for a delicious potato. I'll pay when you bring it. Clint. 240 on delivery. Clint will be thankful. Accept quest. Okay. Alright, so one of our quests is delivery. I could really do it for delicious potato. I'll pay you when you bring it. Clint. 240 on delivery. Blink. Blink. Clint a potato. Alright, okay. Oh, he seems new. There's someone in a wheelchair. That's kind of surprising. Aren't you cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. Alright, so we've met one more person. Introduction. 27 people. Well, nice to meet you, George. Today I think I'm just going to relax and think positively. Alright, we'll get the hell out of the way. Nope. That's the kind of person you are today. Thank you. Alright, okay. There we go. Alright, so we have, to, we have to get a potato for 230 gold. So I say we just buy one. I'm taking a break from the house chores today. Who was that? Jody. I'm taking. Oh. Jody, you cheeky, cheeky sod. All right, do we have any potatoes here, buddy? Do you sell any potatoes? We've got potato seeds, but you don't have any potato potatoes. I'll send a dandelion for 40, 40 gold. Dandelion, man. We shouldn't have gift Lewis anything. I want to be nice to him. I like being mayor. Good. Good. I could not go back to just calling you Lewis. You're always May and Lewis to me. Do you ever take the day off? No. Alright, okay. So we need a game plan. So we've already spoke to Lewis today. I say we go into the cave. Do you want to go back into the... I say we go into the caves. There's a shovel there. Shovel night. Alright, so we can now read forest stuff. So if we go back into here... Is that note still there or is it gone? Oh, it's still there. And there's the thing. Reward. Bridge repair. Um. Oh, okay. So, right, okay. So you come here. And do you remember what we said about the six stars at the start? So if, for example, you come in, we're in the spring. So if you can bring a wild, a wild horseradish, a daffodil and a leek and a dandelion... He'll fix the bridge. Or maybe that's just like one thing. Alright, so what do we need to bring? We should probably write this down actually. Construction bundle. Alright, that is quite a bit. Alright, so these are all things that I can't do just yet. Yeah, okay. Exotic foraging. Yeah. Alright, so I need to bring him horse radish, daffodil, leek, and a dandelion. So every time we see a plant, we have to pick it up now so that we can um we can get on with them quests. Alright, okay, making minor steps towards great things. I appreciate it. Alright, let's take our pickaxe and our sword and let's go to the mines. Okay, I believe the mines are up here, actually. Or at least I believe they're at the top of the world. I'm pretty sure they are. Okay, this is the carpentry shop. And then the mines should be just up here. I believe... Someone was throwing rocks at my tent last night. I just had to wait it out. Oh, Dude. Shouldn't have to put up with crap like that. You're a reasonable fellow. Living out here in the woods. Maybe we should come out at night and um, and stop people throwing rocks in. We got a sword. Ugh, ugh, chipping kill, cold-blooded. Alright, I think it's this way. It's case. We haven't got too much energy left, but I think it'll be a good way to spend a day. Considering all we're doing really is waiting for stuff to grow at the minute. I say that though, we've got we've got plenty of stuff to be doing. Like I say we, every time we grab some stone, we're kind of towards a quest. So we need some copper ore, don't we? So it's probably best that we're out here. All right, we are burning through the energy though, really fast. Is that 
little thing always there? No, okay, so it's random every time. So you have to kind of do a random act to get it. There we go, so on to the next one. Okay. It's like a game of Minesweeper. Oh, this one actually goes down. Are they randomly generated, do you believe? Do you know what? I'm going to have to say I think they are. Oh, what's that over there? An earth crystal? Oh, well, this one's got to be copper. Ah, free copper ore for that one. Alright, okay, we killed that guy. Okay, so the next floor is going to be somewhere around here. What's this thing up there? Oh, it's a little like snake looking thing in the top left. Okay, down another floor. There's a torch there. That's cool. Ah, let's grab the copper. So we can start crafting that furnace. Alright, three every time. I think we need 15, I believe. Oh, wow. I really like this part of the game. This is really cute. Oh, I tell you what. Let's open up our inventory. So let's click escape. Let's get rid of that plant fiber. We can always get that, can't we? Quartz. Ugh. Slice. Slice and dice. Right, let's go down one more floor. Alright, let's slice this guy open. Alright, okay, you need to drop some slime, so we're gonna get rid of we're gonna get rid of the coal for that. Pick up another quartz. Oh, so that's blocking, okay. Alright, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Alright, so 13 copper. We could grab another quartz as well while we're here. Yeah, there we go. I'm sure we can I'm sure we'll find something to do with this. Ooh, I like it. It's very dark and mysterious this area. Okay, slice that guy right open. Alright, let's grab well let's grab another bit of copper, then we'll head back up, because we are running a little bit low. When you kinda of come here, you have to you have to you do waste a lot of energy. Like you have to kind of dedicate yourself to a cave for a day. So it's best to not get it on a thing. To be fair, all we had to do today was go and see Lewis, didn't we, Mayor Lewis, and give him a, a little gift as a thank you. For being an awesome mayor. Ah, there we go. Alright. Oh! Alright, we are daring. We are very daring. Are we, are we back at the surface? Oh, okay. Energy low. Health's gonna get low. Oh. Oh, okay. Come on. That slime, man. Take a take a right beating. All right, okay. The energy's rocking really low. What actually is that? Should we check? What's this bit of sap? Like we really need sap. Okay, let's um. There we go. So that was floor five. So we can next time we click on here, we can jump straight down to floor five. Okay, awesome. All right, let's um let's head back home. Let's get a little sleep in deeper in the mine. It seems that the mine elevator is still functional. It allows you to quickly return to the elevator doors. If you've discovered a deeper expedition may be required. Reach, reach level 40 in the mines. Right, so I was under the assumption that mining in this game like was like a level. But it's not a level. What it is, is it's like something else. Can we go in? Hey, buddy. Can we talk? I don't want to hurt you. I just want to talk. Oh, okay. Oh, it's kind of a shame. I was hoping for a little chat. Alright, so let's head back home. It's a beautiful night. It's nice and dark. We can head back home and we'll check on what's growing. I don't think we've got any plants growing tomorrow, actually. I believe that it's just, um, I believe it's just a normal day tomorrow. May as well do a bit of mining and stuff. Alright, we're back on the farm. Beautiful. Lovely. Good to be home. What's that up there? Oh. Man, it is getting dark. It is getting real dark. It'd be really nice if we had that campfire up, but I don't know where to put it just yet. Right, okay. Well, before we go to bed, let's put everything in the chest that we've found today. Tomorrow we'll craft a furnace, because we've got 19 copper. And then when we go back to the mines, we can, um... We can start 
makes the thing. So level up, one forging, one axe proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. Oh, so that is why when we towed up the ground in the last episode and it dropped clay, it's because we'd leveled up. New recipe, field snack. All right, we got 35 for the one past up at the start of the episode. It's not bad. Seventh of spring, eighth of spring. Okay. So we've got something in the mail today. Robin here. I know there's a lot of stone scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as a convenient place to refill your watering can. Just swing by my shop with 75 stones in 1,000 when you're ready for it. That is a bit steep, Robin. I mean, I'm here with my 125 gold. And here you are with a whole shop. You know what I mean? 1,000 for a bloody well. I bet it gets put up instantly as well. Uh, they get you these engineers, don't they? I tell you what, we don't really need a watering well anyway for a long time. Because you've got to think of it like this. like We're growing stuff right next to this pond. So I can always fill up my watering can here. And it's only a little bit of a walk. So when we've got money to spare, we'll do it. But for now, we should be good. Okay. Right, so that is one section filled. Obviously, you can see my energy getting completely drained. You go... Oh, grab some water. Okay. All right, this area over here, by the way, is returning back to normal because it don't really need to be used. And that's completely fine because... We can always reuse it some other time. So, that's looking pretty damn good. I say what we do for the rest of the day is we grab our stone and we grab a copper. And we head inside and we craft a furnace. So, escape, crafting, and furnace. Oh, you need 20 copper. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurous spirit. That much I can tell. If you slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful, Marlin. So, initiating. So we have to kill ten slimes deeper in the mine. Potato only has one day, but we can bring a potato to Clint. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any potatoes to bring to Clint. Because uh, I didn't start farming early enough. So what we're going to do is, with the rest of our energy for the day, we're going to go straight back to the mines. We're going to kill ten slimes. Right, and I think it's easily done. I'm going to kill ten slimes. And then we're gonna we're gonna sell them. Well, we're gonna get into the adventurers guild. That's what I mean. But what we'll do is we will craft ourselves a furnace and smelt some of the copper that we'll get in the future. Because obviously, if you gotta think, if we're doing this now, then we won't get a, well, we won't get anything to smelt because we'll have spent it all. So uh, that's kind of a shame. But I'm sure soon enough we'll be fine. I'm looking forward to getting um, some. I'm looking forward to getting enough gold for a coop. That's that's what I'm looking forward to. My dad is a little bit of a farmer and he has quite a few chickens and he loves it. Okay. Okay, so unfortunately my recording software decided to close when I was just going into the mine for the second time. I went down, I got to level 7, came back up and we crafted the furnace and I smelted one copper bar, which takes five copper and one coal. And it also takes a little bit of time, I noticed that too. But unfortunately I lost that and uh, I'll have to get, I'll, I don't know, I'll have to get a bigger hard drive eventually. But yeah, I just want to say thank you all for watching and uh, have a great day everyone and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.